Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of Georgia Gwinnett College. This is the Grizzly Talk Podcast with your host, Kennedy Patterson. We are here on our wonderful Tuesday episode. Happy Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of Georgia Gwinnett College. We are live, not from Swanky Studios and not from the Digital Media Lab. We're live here today from the Grizzly Digital Network Media Room, of course. Yeah, so again, I, I I cannot express so much about it, but you know, I, I try to express my gratitude and my thankfulness for Matt Mahoney and the GDN crew for allowing me to record our radio uh, show here on um, live from the Grizzly Digital uh, Network Media Room. Fantastic day! It's a beautiful Tuesday. Uh, we did see some of the sun come out today, so you know it's cloudy, but with a little bit of sun. Today is a great day because not only is it Tuesday, we've got some good announcements and some good news to uh, talk about here on the podcast show for sure. Hopefully you guys are following our Instagram right now. It's grizzly underscore talk. If you guys have not followed us yet, what are you waiting for? It's grizzly underscore talk. And get this, we have 1,685 followers. Yes. So with that entitled, of course, with that many following on our Instagram, I encourage everyone out there that's part of GGC, if you want to nominate your favorite RSO, your department, or even a student or a staff member for our next GTP Spotlight, all you have to do is send us a direct message at our Instagram at grizzly underscore talk, or you can send me out a personal email if you feel more comfortable. It's kpatterson2 at ggc.edu. Again, we're I have nominations for this week's GTP Spotlight, and I can't wait to film that, and I can't wait to edit it so you guys can see what's coming up within the next GTP Spotlight. Could it be a department? Could it be an RSO? You know, you never know what it could be until it comes up. It's going to be premiering on Friday, which is Valentine's Day, of course. So let's get on to the exciting, exciting news here for GGC. Of course, the GGC SST STEM Academy Summer Program of 2020 on behalf of Natasha Bruley. Uh, of course, she says, greetings, everyone. They're happy to announce the GGC SST STEM Academy Summer Program 2020 site has been updated and the information registration website is now active. So if you want something to do for the summertime, if you're not taking summer classes or if you are taking summer classes and you want to get really, really involved with GGC, I really recommend you guys going out for this program. Summer program, it gets you guys active for the summertime. They are now offering three different camps. For the first three weeks of June, centering around mathematics, information technology, and science experience for middle school students. Uh, All you have to do is you please send out uh, these uh, families in your network, and you can think um, that will be interested in this. Please send this out to the families out there to motivate or um, to inspire talented middle school students in these areas. All you have to do, of course, they have their study, um, their sessions for the program June 1st through the 5th, that's January 20, um, June 2020. The Information Technology Scholars Program will be 8th through the 12th, and the Science Program will be the 15th through the 19th of June. So again, if you want something to do for the summertime, I really recommend you guys going out to that program um, because it's, it's very interesting. You get very heavily involved, and if you have this in your, not only your resume for your college career, but this can, this can go a long way When you go out there, if you're in the MIT or you're in the mathematics degree or you're in the science technology uh, degree field here at GPC, it allows students to have that on their belt so that way when they go and find jobs out there, uh, it's it's on their resume and and employers see that and then you get employed very, very fastly. So again, I recommend that for all GGC students for sure. Uh, It's a fantastic time. I want to give a shout out to, of course, Natan. Yep, the time. So, Natan Mallory, he's a good friend of mine, fellow RA of mine. He's a current um, resident assistant now. And this is what he said. I'll go ahead and display it for you guys. I'm grateful for 
Georgia Gwinnett College because it's given me all the tools I need to succeed and given me more opportunities than I think I would have had anywhere else. I'm going to play it one more time for you guys. I'm grateful for Georgia Gwinnett College because it's given me all the tools I need to succeed and given me more opportunities than I think I would have had anywhere else. All right, so they're doing it. Of course, GGC's doing the grateful, uh, grateful for or starting the 12th through the 14th. Uh, it's uh, Grateful Grizzly Days, and Natan Mallory was the first video to go up for them as well. It really is exciting to see uh, that GGC's highlighting students out there. It's fantastic. I love it what they're doing for that, for sure. It really is a uh, moment to have students out there and to really doing their thing out there. Of course, GGC get involved. Of course, they're giving a little uh, sponsorship for the ASL Club. Their meeting is February 11th, 2 p.m. to 3. Of course, as always, we've had Stephanie to come on the podcast for sure. Had a really rocking good time for her to come up there. And also, the So So Natural 19, of course. This is a potential uh, contender that is a, that's nominated for GTP Spotlight for this week. Of course, So So Natural is a GGC's official natural hair organization. Yes. So the natural, So So Natural 19, you guys can follow their Instagram. It's, again, the one word, So So Natural 19. Um, it's a great, great RSO for GDC, highlighting uh, men and women with natural hair. So a lot of people might know this. My hair, before I cut it all off, my hair was natural. Um, I was rocking my natural look for the longest time, and then I dyed it, uh, dyed it orange, you know. <laughs> um, and then I cut it all off. So it really, get, it really is good to see um, RSO, RSOs that are a little bit different, but it's fixing out here at GDC. Of course, they have an event coming up. Uh, it's the hair wrapping discussion and just uh, dem uh, demonstration, excuse me, February 11th uh, from 2 to 4. It's a good two hours located in the second floor student center. So, of course, um, they have so many sponsorships. They have the diversity inclusive ambassadors to come on, uh, come on the panel. It's encouraging conversations on the impact of the hijab. Of course, that is a religion uh, clothing. Um, again, come out to this event if you want to know about the culture of natural hair. Uh, I really highlight RSOs that are different like that and they're really doing their thing. It's amazing to see the growth of that and the growth of the impact that you know they're having RSOs that are a little bit different. And that's one thing I look forward to is that difference here uh, for sure. Now I'm on the Instagram right now. GGC Intramural Sports posted their videos about 22 hours ago. Um, players going around and as I watched it there, they're playing volleyball. Really is good. Shout out to uh, GGC Intramural Sports and also the GGC Volleyball. They were able to do their thing there. And of course, one hour or so that's really kick starting out um, that I just saw that they follow. Of course, we have a finance club. <laughs> Number one contender. Number one contender for the GTP Spotlight, for sure, that is the Finance Club. They're just getting started with their RSO, for sure. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of good things. They have a meeting, uh, let's see, a meeting today, uh, well, yeah, tomorrow, starting at 3 in A1280. Of course, they'll talk about the Finance Club. Uh, that's a really cool RSO because, it, you know, finance is something that's, uh, that's offered here at GGC. I know quite a few professors that teach the realm of finance. Um, it's really good to see that's going on for them, for sure. And another news announcement is coming from the SGA, of course, Student Government Association. Of course, this is something that I would like to uh, kind of advocate a lot because we're, we're live. We're, we're recording live here from the Grizzly Digital Network, and that's here in the Grizzly Athletics Building. Of course, SGA has an event coming up February 20th from 11 a.m. in the dining hall. It's, it's, they're calling it Lunch with Grizzly Athletes. Of course, the dining hall is going to be in the dining hall. Come and meet our student athletes for a free meal ticket. Again, I mention it. Free meal ticket. <laughs> we love food. You know, you can never go wrong with a free meal. Of course, in the dining hall, the first 50 students will get a free meal ticket in the dining hall, sponsored by GGC Athletics and SGA Student Government Association, uh, for sure. So that's a really awesome time. It really is uh, very appreciative that um, GGC Athletics are going out there and they're meeting uh, students out there on campus. That is a really rocking good time. Uh, we've had so many things to talk about athletics because their spring sports is coming up this week, and of course. There might be a special podcast coming up for uh, GGC Softball. I was able to see some of the coaches and some of the players today. 
and they're coming back from the trip of Taiwan. So I'm going to reach out to some athletes today and see if they want to come on the podcast, talk about their experiences uh, for the podcast this week. So that's coming up later. All you have to do is just wait on that because it's going to be coming up really, really strong for that. And I cannot wait for sure on that behalf. Another news announcement sponsored also from SGA. Of course, the student, faculty, and staff meditation series is back. Of course, presented by the Student Government Association, SGA, and Student Affairs Faculty Community presents the Student Faculty and Staff Meditation Series. It's every Wednesday for the spring of 2020. They're going to have it 12 to 1 p.m. in the Res Life Building 3000. So meditation is very key. Um, now we're getting kind of serious, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting serious into the semester. We're having a lot of projects that are coming up very, very soon. A lot of students have a lot of students have uh, much deadlines coming up later on in this week and later on in the semester. So we're really digging into the spring of 2020. So I really encourage this, and I know I talk about this a lot in every podcast about meditation, but meditation is the key. Um, I really encourage people to go out there and meditate at least for a good hour to really get your strength up and to really um, step away from from school for a second just to relax, take a deep breather, and really enjoy. Um, you know, enjoy life and really reduce life and, you know, just really get the stress off your off your back. So I really recommend you guys going out there uh, if you would like to attend that event. It's the series, Spring 2020, every Wednesday from 12 to 1. I really recommend it. And let's not forget, of course, for our student business associations, they say, Dear SBA students, this is a friendly reminder that the School of Business will be hosting two Get this, not one, not not three, but two <laughs> SBA resume workshop sessions starting today. Uh, of course, Tuesday, the 11th, which is today, uh, tw- uh, two to three. That's our grace period. Um, if you missed it, this was one event you really shouldn't have not missed because resumes are so important. I've talked about it before. I've sent my resume out to different companies and they really review that. Com- employers and company market people, they really look at your resume. So it's recommended that you guys go out there and you do your resume. But if you missed this session, of course, they're going to have another session uh, the 12th, February 12th. So that'll be tomorrow at the SBA Resume Workshop Session B. That will be 5 p.m. to 6.15 p.m. Of course, that's 5 p.m. to 6.15 p.m. in the uh, W Building 2234. So again, don't miss it. You know, it's really good. Have someone take a look at your resume simply because it's important and uh, you're going to need it for your, your career after you're graduated from GGC. So it really is important that all of you guys go out there and you get your resume looked at. That's all it takes about maybe 20 minutes for a staff member, a faculty member, even a student or a s- assistant student to just look at that resume resume to make sure that you guys are up to par and make sure you guys are ready for the big companies out there here in Georgia and all over the world. So I really recommend you guys doing that. So that's going to wrap it up here for Tuesday's episode of the Grizzly Talk podcast. Please be sure to nominate your RSO or department for the next GTV Spotlight. Please be sure to listen to all of our platforms out there. It's um, everywhere. Spotify, iTunes, iHeart, Pandora, Podchaser. It's everywhere. So please, if you have a mobile device, no matter if it's an iPhone or a Samsung phone, please download the app so that way you can listen and you can get all the content for there for sure for GTP. And stay tuned later on this week for more podcasts to come up, special podcasts to come up later this week. Stay tuned for that as well. So that's going to do it for the Grizzly Talk podcast live from the Grizzly Digital Network Media Room here at GGC Athletics. I'm Kennedy Patterson. Go Grizzlies and have a good day. Thank you for listening to the Grizzly Talk Podcast with your host, Kennedy Patterson. Please be sure to follow all of our social media. It's grizzly underscore talk on our Instagram. And please be sure to stream all of our content from either iTunes, Spotify, Our Heart Radio, Pandora, and Podchaser. Go Grizzlies.